Good afternoon, and welcome to episode number 625. And the topic today, the brief version, is you are a superhero. And I'll explain what that means and the quote in a moment. So before I do that, let me introduce myself so you know who I am and why I do these talks. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. And I help women create balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, which fuels my work, and also what inspired these talks, which started over two years ago. And these are, um, they're called, get caught up a second, uh, Messages from the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart, or Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. And this talk is actually for everybody, because you're all superheroes, and I'll explain what that means. And so, yes, I've done these talks every day. This is why today's episode is number 625. There's <laughs> still stuff to talk about. And today's talk really is inspired by the quote about Stan Lee. Oh, thank you, Heather. I'm glad you're here. Oh, by the way, this is Facebook Live, in case you're wondering. Usually this is on, this is on Facebook Live first, then goes onto YouTube. So if you watch it on YouTube, and you're wondering who I'm responding to, you won't know because you're not on you watching me on Facebook Live. So thank you, Heather, for that. I, I'm glad you like my insights that I'm sharing. Um, so anyway, so, so let me jump into the topic <laughs> and stay tuned. Keep watching and please share this out if you watch, if you wish, if you watch, if you wish. So there was a quote as a tribute at the end of the movie I saw today. I happened to finally get to go see uh, Spider-Man to the, Sp Spider the Spider-Verse because I'm a fanatic, a superhero fan and, and Marvel Universe devotee and stuff and, and science fiction fan as well. And in the credits, there was a little uh, stop. Actually, no, it was, I think it was before the credits. Anyway, there was this quote, which I put in the title, to Stan, about Stan Lee. Now, Stan Lee passed away recently, so this was kind of a tribute in the credits of the movie because it's a Marvel movie, um, and he created Marvel, was the founder, was the main guy for Marvel. And in fact, they even have a, uh, what's the word? A, a um, oh, the word will come back to me. It just escaped. Cameo, that's the word, cameo, of him in the movie. Even though it's an animated movie, it was great, so it was fun. Anyway, so the quote is really about that we are all superheroes, particularly when we do things in the world. So I want to speak to that part of it because what I'm very clear about is that as superheroes, we don't have to wear capes or masks or hide our identities. In fact, the way you recognize superheroes is by the fact that they do things in the world. They're usually heart-based, it's from the heart first, that are actually taking steps to serve and inspire and awaken other people, to lift them up, to save them, to help them, to help an old lady cross the street, or to help a man with his changing tire in his car or something. I mean, whatever it is, it could be that mundane, or it could be changing societal structures so that we don't have racism anymore. That's a big superhero move. So superheroes aren't about necessarily fighting evil in the sense of some villain, although it can be fighting evil in terms of lack of, uh, from a place of ignorance, because ignorance is, well, thank you, Alan. I appreciate that. I'm a superhero, yes, and as, you, as are you too is the thing is that a lot of times what we're doing is that we're fighting evil, evil being, lack of awareness, ignorance, blindness to possibility, blindness to love, blindness to truth. So in some ways we are the good fighting evil, but I don't want to use those contexts so much because I'm really about the fact that as superheroes, yes, I'm including myself, <laughs> how we treat other people makes us that superhero. If we're belligerent, upset, angry, willful, antagonistic, demeaning to other people, that's not superhero behavior. But if we're kind and compassionate, we help somebody who's less fortunate than ourselves. If we go out of our way to um, do something that's needed, again, I'm using the quote from what I, I put there on, on the title, which is basically the, the Stan Lee quote. Um, it's about doing what needs to be done. It's about doing what has to be done because you know it will change somebody's life. And that for me is where this um, superhero focus comes from. And it was, it was and just a sidebar, just watching the, mo the movie, because I saw it just early this afternoon, so it's very much in my awareness. There were so many little subtle hints in there about how to be more kind, how to be more connected, how to be respecting of your elders and how to be family, and all these different things which were lifestyle stuff. This is an animated cartoon based on a comic book. But the, the, the content of it was so relevant to how to live life more 
compassionately, kindly, and effectively. And so again, the quote I put in there for, for Stan, Stan Lee is definitely a reminder that we can all be superheroes just simply by our actions and interactions with other people. Now, let me bring this back into relationship for the fun of it. <laughs> since my work is in this area of relationships and it seems to be apropos have you ever thought about how you could be a superhero to and with your partner if you're in a relationship and if you're not in a relationship remembering back on one you're in or thinking ahead for the one in the future because the mindset of the superhero in this context where I'm speaking to is a way of being of service to other people because it needs to happen not because you necessarily want to or the idea in a relationship you do want to but you do it because you know it needs to be done. And that what you're delivering, what you're bringing, what you're serving is uplifting, inspiring somebody else. And that isn't something people do in a relationship very often. So when you do bring that into a relationship, it raises the vibration. And if you both do it in the relationship, then it's an amazing gift. It's almost like teaming up. Hi, Della. Nice to see you my broadcast. So it's interesting to have this, um, <laughs> this mindset overview in terms of relationship. So superheroes in a relationship, how does that work? You know, it's, it's like being the dynamic duo in a way. I mean, you know, Batman and Robin are always an interesting metaphor for that, but I'm using the dynamic duo of being a pair of people who choose to invisibly wear the capes and the um, symbols of their superhero doom, which is basically is the heart-led purpose, vision, purpose in the world that becomes so powerful. And to choose to be that sort of person that carries honor and respect and kindness around other people is a profoundly powerful gift and it would be something would be that your superhero strength could be that way and it's not about physical strength it's about heart strength that heart that gives that serves that inspires that loves that cares that supports that's in you so by bringing those gifts forward from your heart to yourself as well as to other people you become a superhero. So doing that in public, doing that in social environments, doing that in your um, well, in your intimate relationships, doing it with your family, doing it in your business where you work, if you work with somebody else, doing the public, doing it anonymously. Those sort of th actions where you're inspiring, uplifting, and improving somebody else's life comes from a place of a heart-based superhero, which we all have the ability to do. Now we may forget at times, and the first thing is, if you forget, then the good news is, remember. Because it sometimes, I'm going to say this another way. We all have the opportunity to give our gifts, but we don't always remember to do so. We get preoccupied with other things, distractions, concerns, wonderings, whatever it is. And what happens is that we forget that we have that gift. So to throw down the gauntlet, to throw this out to you, to give you a, a um, subtle inspiration, you can, if you wish to, and I'm inviting you to wish to, look at how you can be more loving and be more kind in your life in a way that cares for other people, especially those people you don't know. Yes, people you do know, it's good to do it with, of course, but when you do it to strangers or do it for strangers, you like open, open a door for people. That's a superhero move. Help somebody with their grocery bags or help open the door for somebody coming through or help them out, out of the elevator, whatever that is. Those sort of things, you can call them um, manners, but wouldn't superheroes have manners? So I'm looking at these as thoughts for you to play with, for you to enjoy as you explore the rest of today and through the week. What superhero moves do you have? What are your, superhero, what are your superpowers that elevate and transform people around you. I'm giving you homework, by the way. So what, I'd love to have you play with, see what you think, and then to respond back, put in the comments what you think for yourself. What are your superpowers? What is it you bring to the world that can awaken, inspire, uplift other people? I know a lot of what I'm minded about is what I do here, what I do when I'm serving at, at Agape and other places where I give my gifts and the service that way. And even when I'm at the street or going to a restaurant or going out in life, I tend to find myself looking at where I need to be to serve, to inspire. And it's not like I, I'm, dra I'm drained by it, it's actually uplifting to me. So I'm inviting you to look at life the same way. So 
your homework, your mission, if you choose to accept it, <laughs> is, to look, is to look through the lens of your superpowers, your superhero eyes, and to see the world as a place where you can serve and inspire, and we can recognize other superheroes, because we all are. And so by seeing other people at the same level of that superhero status and presentation, we can all be elevating the conversation we're in. We can be elevating who we are. We can elevate what we're about and we can make a difference that way. So I think that is that it? It's funny, I've been sitting with this, just wanted to talk about this to get this out because it's been on my mind. And um yeah. I wanted to say it, so I've said it. It's out there. So you now know what I'm about. <laughs> I'm a big fan of superhero movies. I'm to like science fiction as well, which I've been in, been immersed in the last few days. So just a quick, just a couple of quick um, plugs for shows that I can recommend. Movies. Um, I saw a leader battle angel on Thursday. I recommend it highly now. The first time I saw it, I was kind of I was I was integrating it, but now I sit, now I look back and I look a very good movie. I recommend it highly. Um, I just saw it today, which is what inspired this talk, uh, Spider Man to the Spider Verse, which I highly recommend as well. And if you're a sci-fi fan, I just watched the third season of The Expanse. It's on Amazon Prime. It was on sci-fi. If you haven't seen it, it's, it's a mind-blowing sci-fi show, which is not, not to do with superheroes, but there are some incredible moves of service and of sacrifice to help human race. So it has its benefit, has its power in that as well. Anyway, I'm sidetracking slightly. Your homework, again. What are your superpowers? Put them in the comments below. I invite interaction on this one. This one I'm going to inspire and and uh, provoke you <laughs> because there's no, there's need now more than ever for superheroes. No need to wear fancy capes or spandex or masks, but simply to act accordingly. How are you going to act? Let me know. I want to find out. With that, I thank you for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. By the way, I do this at 5 p.m. Pacific time every day on my personal page. If you want to watch me, come to facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. Replays are on my business page, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby dot author and on my YouTube channel which you can subscribe to which is Barry Selby the playlist is messages from the masculine that's where the replays go after this and also my podcast on iTunes which is also called messages from the masculine you can subscribe to that and you can watch and uh, listen to the audio there so Heather your ab the ability to listen to deeply listen and to be present with others that's nice that's a powerful gift you bring and that is a superhero oh, sorry that is a superpower so Thank you for sharing that, Heather. I appreciate it. Who else? Let's see what happens. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow at 5 p.m. Take care of yourselves and uh, see you then. <laughs>